so last time we created this app application simple so this time we will uh, fetch these data from database so let's make a backend first so I will be creating some notebooks so I need model controller and migration so we can do that in one command php artisan make model and name of model will be notebook uh, this will create migration and this will create controller so this time we want resource controller uh, so it will create a resource controller model migration and controller created okay so let's switch to sublime and first we'll define a route in web.php so route resource let's go to notebook controller so here we can see the create method will return all the notebooks yeah for now just display our uh, notebooks now uh, we'll handle these in a moment so let's uh, go to migration file and we'll be we'll need uh, three more field one for name and another for body and this will be the user ID so which author created that notebook alright so now let's go to so here first we'll define a fillable field so next we'll define relation user okay so let's configure database so database will be this and these are my username and passwords uh, just use here all right so after that let's create that database okay let's run migrate command php artisan migrate sorry about that so uh, after running PHP artisan migrate if you get this error uh, this error are new in 5.4 so uh, you might not get this error uh, max uh, length so in order to configure that you need to go to config uh, database so here uh, inside my uh, SQL just uh, make it UTF-8 and here as well all right so let's clear the screen and try to run again so it will say already exists uh, before so it just migrated some command so I'll just drop it and create once again okay now let's run again okay so this time it migrated okay so let's create some users so I'll be using PHP artisan tinker and I'll use cedar so factory app user so I'll create two user okay so let's see okay so we got two users and I've created these two notebooks uh, let's add one more so new book this is new book body so let's give user ID 1 
okay done so now we have our data uh, let's go to front end and fetch these data so before doing anything on uh, front end uh, make sure you run npm run watch all right so that will run water and keep compiling your code as you change so uh, let's go to resources uh, components example so this is the home page uh, so we'll do the ajax request to our url which is responsible for fetching the data so once uh, uh, this component is mounted so it is created uh, we'll do uh, ajax request using axios get so url will be slash notebook so remember we created that in our web.php notebook okay so after we do request uh, then so function response so what we'll do is uh, we'll return this dot notebooks equals to response dot data so what I'm doing uh, is I'm assigning all the data from there to notebooks variable so let's create that data books it's the empty array for now so if you are confused you can just uh, log this and see what data you are getting let's do that c log so let's uh, log response and see what we are getting So when I hit save, uh, it is compiling automatically here. So let's switch to front end and open up inspector. Okay, so you can see here we are getting the object and this uh, array of notebooks is inside the data attribute. Okay. So that's why we are accessing data. So let's go to example here. So we're uh, assigning all the data to this notebook variable. All right, so here, uh, this is the panel and we'll loop through each panel and display all of the data. So we'll use V4 equals to notebook in notebooks so heading will be notebook dot name and the body will be notebook dot body all right yeah, so body and name so save it and okay so uh, we got this error uh, so this is because inside this function uh, this dot notebook is not defined because of the scope of this uh, so there are two ways you can get through it Okay, one way is uh, you can assign this to some variable like self equals to this and then use this uh, self okay so it's uh, working 
so another way is uh, you can use ES6 uh, let me comment this code and uh, you can do like this axios uh, get notebooks notebook dot then and you can use arrow function response this dot notebooks equals to response dot data like so so save it and it should work exactly like this yeah so it's less line of code okay so we are facing these data from our uh, database so one more thing we want to let's display a uh, user who created uh, these notebooks so currently uh, if you see uh, we're not getting any username because let's go to notebook controller so if you log this data yeah you'll see that uh, we have uh, just user id not user instance so in order to get that what we can do is eager load that so with user and get so after uh, we do that yeah, you can see from logging it to console uh, now we can directly do like this so inside heading will display it let's display uh, by notebook dot user dot name so let's check out okay so uh, it is not loading user let's see what's the problem okay we are getting user uh, null because in our notebooks we have defined one and two but here uh, these are four and three let's change the id so now if you reload yeah so yeah you can see the username uh, you can put it just below here all right so uh, we are fetching the data from our database uh, with user so in next video we'll do uh, we'll learn about create update and delete so see you in the next video bye